I saw one moving one, yeah. I was riding this really remote trail though, so it was out in the middle of nowhere and it was pretty grassy. Yeah. And it was like a black snake. I think they're very poisonous yeah. too. So. Yeah. Pretty big one. He is decent. So we made it into Cardwell. Uh, been riding, I think, for about 40 k's or so, but we got told by a local that there is a saltwater croc that gets around this area along the beach here, and we're just riding along the beach trying to find the croc. Um, keep you guys updated and show you if we find him. Apparently our best chance is having a look out on this jetty here, and he'll probably be out here somewhere. We'll see. G'day. Now we're heading that way, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, how big do you reckon he is? Well, I reckon they're seven, eight foot. There's yeah. about three of them here at the moment. Far out, yeah. Two yeah. smaller ones or one real big one. Yeah. We were talking to a local who did see the croc on the jetty back there, but um, we're just going to keep going along the beach here and hopefully we get lucky and find him. Apparently, he said that guy back there, he said there was three of them and they're up to like 11, uh, 17 foot. Decent crocs. Somewhere in there. <laughs> oh, I think I found a good mango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've said about the wreck, why they call it, why they call that, because where the old ship just in boats used to go in. Okay. And on high tide they can't get back out, they just get wrecked. Yeah. yeah. That's why they call it wreck creek, the old man pushed the road up from the dump up there. Like that's all changed now, you've got to go along the whole way to get in. Yeah. But there's one big croc, one big croc, big daddy, comes from there, he goes past, swims along down here to the loose loose in the point. He goes past the jetty. When you're out in the jetty you can see like is he, a big log. Is he the seventeen footer? Yeah. Or yeah. Whereabouts? yeah. You probably think it's a big log flight, but yeah, it's not the big daddy the big daddy. And they're salt waters, aren't they? Yeah, he's salt water. He comes from the mouth, he goes down to the mouth of Lucinda, turn around and felt and he paddled back. Yeah, because <laughs> I seen him three days ago yeah. now in the road. So I looked but I couldn't see him. But yeah. uh, it would have been nice to to see them, they're pretty powerful animals. Oh yeah. But like, like if if a if a shark and a crocodile has to fight, who's winning of those two? They don't. They win. Crocodile will win. Yeah. Yeah, I like heard crocodile that. Crocodile just goes like that to the shark. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hot today. They reckon 35 to 38 degrees today. So did you find a place to camp for tonight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 100k is up. Mm -hmm. So if you feel you get some superpower, you know it's 100k <laughs> to go. So guys, we ended up parting ways uh, just for now. I don't know, we might catch up a bit later on when we get to Cairns, when I get to Cairns. We're about 180 plus from Cairns. It's just that I'm feeling a bit sick and I got a headache and I didn't get the best night's sleep yesterday, last night. So um, I'm just going to rest up here for a little bit. Uh, yeah, and my like our schedules sort of don't match a little bit, if you know what I mean, because I'm like trying to create content and do videos and things, and I need like downtime to sort of you know charge things or edit and all that kind of stuff, and stop to film and all of that. Um, so yeah, um, but it's still pretty cool to hang out and uh, ride for a bit, which was really cool. So I just spent some time in the library, gonna get ready for an epic change in temperature. She's bloody hot today. Oh, you can feel it already. This is brutal. So we are leaving Cardwell. Yeah, I want to try and get 100 k's further up the road. We've done about 40 today, um, which I think is the same. Only because there's a rest stop there that has shower. I really want to shower, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's about 12 o'clock right now, and it's probably not the best time to be riding, but with the breeze and everything, you sort of cool down a little bit. 
but then again you do use a lot of uh, water so but I'm stocked up also I was feeling terrible this morning like had a headache and I was feeling sick and to be honest I haven't actually shared this with you guys it was crazy about 11:30 last night because where we stayed is like a lookout area it's not really a camp spot and um, we had some people come up around uh, midnight and they were talking pretty loud they started having a few ciggies and that's what did it the smell of cigarettes just gives me a headache and then I just got sick in the tummy from it and all that but now I've got a good brekkie in and a bit of a snack so yeah I'm better now but yeah quick look over my shoulder just to make sure they weren't stealing anything and all that kind of stuff but yeah they eventually moved on about two hours later maybe an hour later so uh, I've done about 20-ish k's but this heat is brutal um, it's probably not the best time to be riding is in the middle of the day so I'm probably just gonna rest here for an hour or plus just wait for it to cool down or actually check the temperatures and see when the weather's the sort of temperatures coming back down and um, get a few more k's out um, before it gets dark I guess but yeah I've stopped for a while but my legs were sweating so bloody bad so guys I didn't really get to sort of explain what Mary Ali was sort of up to um, but she is raising funds for dogs in Sri Lanka it's pretty much like a donation or anything like that it helps turn these dogs lives around and um, yeah, it's really incredible and inspiring to, to see like she's just got a mission behind what she's doing. Um, she gave me a couple of stickers. So this is um, hers. She, she makes uh, like beanies and things like that. So um, what I'll do is I'll chuck a link down below in the comments so you can check her out on Instagram, The Biking Viking, um, and follow her journey. And also I'll put a link below for this. So you, if you want to, you can buy a beanie or anything like that and um, the SS Sri Lanka dog organization will be linked down below so you can support those guys and make a donation if you really want to but yeah so yeah guys feel free to check out what Mary Ella is up to um, it's really inspiring stuff once again it'd be great if we could get the uh, the Cody Orgel YouTube army after it and uh, get behind the cause so that'd be really cool anyway guys we're heading um, to the camp spot for tonight and it's only like 1k away really so uh, not much riding, um, so we're just going to get to the camp spot here, and I think we should be fine. Oh, What's up, mate? Oh, <laughs> He's off his head. Guy's <laughs> off his head. So it turns out I think the campsite was kind of already near that other campsite. Like it must have been that campsite. I don't know. They just stuffed it up on the map. So I was expecting another one, but it was just that one. So. Um, we're kind of like 15, 20 k's up from there now, so I'm just going to try and get into this town called Tully and we'll just see if we can find a stealth camp for tonight and um, just set up camp somewhere. I don't really know where. I'm just having a, a bit of a break out of the sun here in the shade. So we made it into Tully. I'm gonna camp here tonight, but I just gotta try and find the entrance to the footy oval because that's where I'm going to be camping. Um, but I just can't find the entrance. It's near the Gulf. All right, we could like walk across there. I don't know. So a bit of an update. It's getting a bit darker. Nice colors at the moment to be honest, but I'm just trying to suss out where I'm gonna to camp tonight. So we're here at the visitor center. Um, there's like a motel here across the road and another place. I was gonna sort of pitch the tent amongst this tree here. But I'm thinking going up here, cause this is the golf course, all this is golf course. It'd be cool to camp on the golf course, but I don't know. Might be up early golfing in the morning. Um, so yeah, I was thinking 
go along here and then this looks like free game like in here amongst the trees and stuff that'd be really nice all right guys i think we found a spot just over there by those trees there's a few blokes here at the motel who are just watching me but i'll just jump in across the road and get in amongst today bloody yes guys what a spot so it's just all these trees the roads on the other side of this and there's just trees here beautiful spot to set the tent up you can see the road over there the main roads there yeah i can keep going down here and explore and see if there's any better spots i think this is going to be a really good camp tonight anyway guys thanks for watching make sure to give me a thumbs up comments below subscribe if you have not already hit that subscribe button i'll show you guys where i've set up the tent and all that kind of stuff tomorrow but for now see you guys in the next one bye